hi guys and welcome or welcome back to another video on my channel um if you don't know me i am nikki and i post things very frequently so make sure to like and subscribe okay guys so today i've seen basically i've seen a lot of my fans getting scammed um by scammers in adopt me like i've got a discord message from someone um in my group my discord group they were like scammed for some robux or GRF, i don't know something like that and other people told me my comments on my last video uh adopt me video that they were scammed i don't know who but anyway and yeah, I thought of making one video for you guys to prevent you from getting scammed. So today I'm going to show you guys some ways to prevent yourself from scams and how to um, and how to recognize that this is a scam and this is not a scam. Okay, so first of all, I will show you different types of scams. Trust trade scam. Uh, the trust trade scam... Um, it's a scam that you need to trust treat somebody like example i will give you my giraffe if you give me your uh griffin now and i will give you my giraffe later i'll go get him from my old account that's literally one of adopt me's like um things to prevent yourself like with the license it's a little story adopt me said when you were you needed to verify yourself with the license to be able to trade legendary pets so that's a story from adopt me anyway so yeah that's trust trading and you don't need to do that because the other person is not gonna give you the pet after you're just gonna lose your griffin or any pet it's not just with griffins it's in with any pet so make sure you don't do that and how to prevent that is just to not listen to them. You can also report them if you're really sure that they are trying to scam you. So yeah, just go ahead and do that. Okay, the next scam is the Robux scam. Some people uh, trust trade things for Robux. Example, um, hello, hi um um i will give you robux um if you give me your giraffe now i will give you a robux later if you give me your giraffe now like they're not going to give you robux later they just want your giraffe they will leave immediately after they get your giraffe not saying that there aren't some people in the world that are actually giving robux back but i just usually don't trust them um yeah and how to prevent yourself from that is just not believe them again and report them maybe like for trust trading or something so yeah go ahead and report them if you feel like that okay so up to the next scam what's happening inside anyway up to the next scam so um the next scam is when people are trying to um trust trade other things such as um trust trade other things such as uh mm2 weapons or any other game that has valuable items and people play it like too much um it's kind of the same like robux but it's with games like if you play mm2 but don't play adopt me and in adopt me you play like when you're like younger when you were younger um and you got like a lot of good pets in there um that uh will be like uh you will be like in uh the other person's gonna be like oh um uh can i have the place adopt me of course um can i have your giraffe for like a chroma or something like that or any good weapon i don't really play mm2 that much so any any good weapon so 
um, unfortunately, they're just gonna take your giraffe and then they will not give you the chroma or anything. So prevent yourself from that scam by not trusting them again. So how to prevent from scams is like, like not trusting people. Um, okay, let's move on to the next scam. So the next scam is the Picador scam. I don't know if you guys have heard of the Picador uh, scam. Some people are doing it right now. So basically think of two doors. A player is hosting a Picador's challenge and there are two doors. The player, uh, the player that wishes to play Picador um, needs to give the host a pet before they play. Now, there are two types of scams they can do. So the first type of scam is that inside the doors they do a no and you didn't win and both of the sides, you know. So the other player will not win and they will just get a free pet. The other way they do it is they uh, they first say yes and then no in the other door. And basically, after the yes and no, you are going to be able to pick a door. And when you pick a door, well, if it says yes, you win a pet. Basically, some scammers like scam you and not and they're not giving you a pet. So basically, it's like the same thing for both types of scams in Picador Challenge. So, yeah. And you're just gonna lose your pet by doing that, so never do that. Even though it says no or yes, some people do it, but some people are just immediately leaving, so you can't even report them to Roblox or anything. So yeah, make sure that... Um, that you are sure you want to do that and yeah so yep anyway uh that's all i wanted to tell you guys like for part two because i think i have more scams and i'm coming back with more videos guys sorry if i'm being inactive bye everybody see you on the next one